Welcome back guys to part number two of the Pokemon Platinum Ultimate Randomizer Run and I'm your host Psycho Enigma and I swear I was about to belch up some Relentless. Um, in the previous episode I announced that we're not doing Blaze Black 2, we're doing, well, this. Um, and we went through the motions, we got our first Pokemon and the Vadnuts. Anyway, I did explain for those of you that may have unfortunately missed the first episode this is not a Nuzlocke, this is Pokemon One Shot, which I've just made up. Um, basically, first route, or route, sorry, first Pokemon you encounter is what you catch. If you fail, then, well, you fail. You can't catch on that route. Other than that, it's a normal walkthrough, apart from everything's randomized. We're going to have some fun. Um, so, we can't catch anything in Sanjum Town yet. But we have the abilities now to catch something on Route 201, so let's see what we're going to get. Let's see what we're going to get. What What is our Pokemon catch for Route 201? And, oh yeah, it's something we're like with an extremely low catch rate. Meet Electivire. It's going to be damn impossible to catch. And uh, let's slash it. Let's go Grim. Yes, the wild Electivire, you psycho cut. Because of course, you know... This game is ridiculous, and look, we use Slash on it, and it's not very effective. Oh, it's got Speed Boost. I want it, 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 I want it. And it knows Blaze Kick. We have Uber Defense, so we ain't got to worry about this, but we got, we have to, got to worry about the burn. Burn bad. Psychic was regularly effective against it. So let's try and catch this Electivire now. Let's, we got 15 Pokeballs. Let's throw one. Come on, let's go, let's go. Straight away it breaks out. So we're going to uh, look to speed this up a little bit. And of course it will break out again. Wait, you have Endeavor as well. This is not cool. This isn't cool whatsoever. I'm going to die horribly in my first battle. Luckily, like I said, not a randomizer. Why do you have Ancient Power as well? You have the most extreme moveset I've seen. Right, let's do this. Let's just... Right, let's heal up now. I'm sorry for super speeding battles. But I want this Electivire. It's causing me grief. I like Pokemon that cause me grief. Usually they are good. And straight away puts me down to two health and I die. You know, I should have seen that coming when uh, when he first used Endeavor. Well, that was a bit of a dick. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so as you can see, this is why I didn't want it to be a Nuzlocke, because it'd be over right there and then. Um, so that that rules out Route 201, unfortunately. But there there are Hacksaw Electivires there. And as you can see, this game's going to be a lot more of a challenge and a lot of fun and rage-worthy at times, probably. Anyway, let's try Lake Verity. And let's get a catch here, shall we? And we get a Bidoof. Woohoo! And I've... Okay, it's a Bidoof that knows Sludge Bomb. Uh, because, of course, as some of you may be aware, hopefully, that watched the first episode, um... Grim is a dragon poison type, which is certainly an interesting type combination. So anyway, one, two, three. I mean, it's a Bidoof. We got this. We have our second Pokemon. It's Bidoof. Yeah. We could have had Electivire. My luck already. Proving amazing. It's a dragon flight. Bidoof. Bidoof is now in the same class as Salamence and Dragon. <laughs> We have two dragon types. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm overcome by the amazingness that he's now a Bidoof. And I'm pressing the wrong key buttons. <laughs> We're going to call this Bidoof McDurp. Because... Oh! I'm annoying myself here. McDurp. Because no one would expect a Bidoof. To be a dragon flying type. That's just extremely ridiculous. 
Hells yeah! Look at those stats. It's got Serene Grace, and it, all it knows is Sludge Bomb, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it's damn epic all at the same time. And, um... Here's Grim, the Poison Dragon type, with ridiculous defense with Runaway, and I'm going to change the moves around. All the moves still have the same type, so at least I know what moves do what. That's about the only thing I can guarantee for certain in this. Because as you can see, we've got two Dragon types, and, you know, their combined level is 9. So we're going to move on now to Route 202, after we take a quick heal in the Pokemon Center. And, uh, battle more wild Pokemon. Let's... Okay, so a Vulpix knows Flash Cannon. That's certainly interesting, because it kills McDurp straight away. <laughs> let's go Grim. Yes, let's do this with a Psychic. Yeah, we've, we've got this in the bag. Grim grinds to level 7, and we got 30 defense at level 7. That's... That, I, I don't even want to know what this Rowan was feeding this thing. Whatever it is, we can get away from it. Oh, it's a little cricket top. Let's take it down. Why did you not die? Psychic is not very effective against the cricket top. You see, you know, you got people like the McHerp here or McDurp. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna end up calling him McHerp. And I apologise if I do. Let's just uh, heal up our Pokemons and get training, because we have... Right, is there the potential... If I could get my words out, is there the potential to get anything down here? Or is it so that we can only do it once we have a fishing rod? Route 219... It's only once we got a rod or we can surf. But there is an antidote. And I'm... Before I do episode 3, I'm definitely going to sort out the emulator speed. I do apologise. I was excited to catch Pokemon and do the episode, okay? I mean, it's not really that slow when you look at it. Plus, I have the ability to speed it up, which I didn't on, like, a DS. So, Route 202. Nothing in that patch of grass. What about this one? Right, we got something. We got something. What have we got? Oh, it's a Nidor King. So, we'll send that Mac Dub. Sludge Bomb. This is where Nido King is now. Poison is regularly effective. Oh, that that was mean. That was mean. <laughs> okay, so um, it's official. The game hates me already. Even my Crobat's on this route. <laughs> okay, so the Crobat isn't affected by poison, and it knows Dragon moves. It isn't affected by poison. It knows. Blizzard and it new Blizzard and Dragon Claw, no Dragon Breath. That one. I need to get out of here. Oh, it's a Feebas. I can take you down. I know I can take you down. I can kill you before you kill me. I know I can. Yes, good boy, McDurp. Um, so, yeah, we missed out on catching two epic Pokemon. But you can see why this is going to be so amazing. So let's try and further ourselves in this game, because at the moment we've got two Dragon types and we've met a Crobat that knows Blizzard, which would have been awesome. If only there was an option to make the Pokemon like so their catch rates are, like, quite low. And that's glitchy. Still a bit glitchy. Right, we don't want to do trainer battles yet. I'm not ready for trainer battles. This Nido King better not get rid of me again. Okay, so it, it knows Seed Bomb. We've established that... We've established that everything on this route knows Dragon Breath. And Whirlwind. Okay, you're going to Whirlwind me out of the way. So, Grim, let's do this. Why does everything know Dragon Breath? That doesn't seem fair to me. That I get two Dragon types... And you're going to whirlwind me away again. Vaporeon. Of course you're going to know Head Smash. It... It gets bad when you can't even off-screen train. Or on-screen train. Right, I'm going to eventually get to the first trainer. 
<laughs> Ten minutes into the video, we're not even at the first trainer because we tried to catch Pokemon and failed. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. I'm going to train quickly and uh, I'll meet you in a minute. I've seen some strange things on my adventures, but level 2 Flareons, the no Hydra Cannon, are certainly new in my books. Anyway, uh, both both our team members are level 7, and uh, McHerp, McDerp, whatever I called him, has learned um, Ember. So now he's ridiculously useful. And I gave up training on this route. So yeah, um, I just sped up there. First trainer battle. Nice and laggy. Hells yeah. So yes, we must battle according to this trainer. It'll be nice and slow. And then it'll get into the battle animation. Then it'll run absolutely fine. But um, Dr. Esteban, he's a child for crying out loud, has a Burmy. I have no idea what type this Burmy is, so I'm going to hit it with... um. The, the fact that it could use Fire Punch amuses me a lot. It doesn't have arms. But um, Grim just kind of absolutely destroyed that thing. Good boy, girl, Grim. Either way, Dr. Esteban, who's a child. Um, just, yeah, and while I was doing that, that reminded me that we got given a TM. Originally, I swear that was returned. We have the TM for Outrage. Um, we have two dragon types. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's keep it. Let, let's let let's keep... Actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's use it. <laughs> we are so overpowered. Oh, Grim wants to learn Outrage. Yeah, let's do this, Grim. Actually, no. No, no, no. It will be much funnier in a Bidoof. Right, no. No, because they both get stabbed. This is going to be hilarious. Yes, McDerp has learned Outrage. <laughs> oh, this, this, this next trainer is not going to see this one coming. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, it's a Bidoof. I don't think it can do anything. Outrage. <laughs> this game is far too much fun. Okay, so what we got? I spy with my delight at trainer a battle, please. Well, at least she asked nicely. So, leader Jimmy. It's a female with a jiggly buff, and you're certainly not a leader. Go, McDurp! McDurp, use outrage! We have an outraging Badoof. He's so angry that everyone has criticised him. No one hid KO. <laughs> McDerp is a freaking monster. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Back out the way of my outraging Bidoof, bitches. Right, let's do this. Come on. Come at me, bro. Into the battle we go. I'd like to be an, 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 no, anti, anti, what? <laughs> I don't even know what your name is. Bad Bidoof. <laughs> Ah, rage! This is so ridiculous. <laughs> McDerp grinds to level eight. <laughs> that's yeah. That's what I thought. We have an outraging Badoof. and I don't even know what your name is. Just, just out of my way. Nido King, you've had this coming since your first whirlwind. <laughs> And that, that, <laughs> that was, um, yeah, I think I've gone mad. If I could be calm for just a moment. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever played. And it's driven me mad with power. I have an outraging dragon type Bidoof. And I have been driven insane by it. And what, what, what now? What now? 
Oh, Bidoof, don't use outrage on me, please. Take my lunch money. Yeah, that's what I thought, Bidoof. Get out of my way, fool. I just find it ironic that Bidoof is a dragon type. But Jailbait has arrived. Of course I'm catching Pokemon. I've got a, you know, I could have caught an Electivire and a Neo King, but I got a Bidoof instead. That's how much of a good trainer I am. You can imagine Dragon Tamer Enigma sending out a Dusclops and a Bidoof, and they would just... People would laugh at me, and then my Bidoof would outrage all over them. So here we get the intro, and we got a bit of Looker action going on, and Looker's just as crazy as me. What? Mysterious man, how did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the International Police? Huh? What? I beg your pardon, I was just making conversation. Shady man? No, he's mysterious to shady. So anyway, crazy man here is called Looker. Of course, he hasn't told us yet. Oh no, I shall not tell you. My code name is Looker. Don't be a thief is familiar to you? Of course it is. Don't be a thief, children. It's much more fun to be... You know, I was probably going to say something really inappropriate then, but I'm glad my train of thought trailed off because... If I had said what I was thinking I was going to say, it would not have been good. And I've just realised the duration of this video is about 16 minutes and I have other things that I need to be getting off and doing, so I'm afraid... I'm probably going to end this with um, me running into the Pokemon Center and Looker running off and... I think we're actually, unfortunately, going to have to put up with Jailbait babbling on a bit more, saying that Pigeon is in the uh, the trainer's school. I'll quite happily allow Pigeon to be in the trainer's school, because we have some Pokemon to heal after our much debated outraging. You know, I'm glad we didn't get Electivire and Nido King, because we've got an outraging Bidoof. But um, this was part number two, full of rage and ranting and random of the Pokemon Platinum Ultimate Randomizer. It's going to save a lot of data. Um, I hope you guys can put up with me going a bit crazy over this game, because I probably will, looking at this episode. It's probably a good example. Um, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I do hope to get this finished. I don't know how long it's going to take. Bearing in mind, as you saw with our first battle, we blacked out. Uh, but I'm fairly confident it's going to be a lot of fun. I do hope you enjoy it. Any new guys, you know, new guys here, check out the old stuff if, if you want. You know, it's, it's no big deal to me. Um, but yeah, Psycho Enigma, episode 2 of uh, Ultimate Platinum Randomizer. Peace out.